Welcome to a Tuesday Talks here at New Song. And welcome to another Tuesday Talks. One of our Tuesday Talks. It's still Tuesday. Uh, normally these would be uh, recorded and posted uh, a long time ago, but today was an extraordinary day in so many ways. But and so here we are, well into the evening. But I want to say thanks for watching today or whenever it is that you would have an opportunity and see this particular webcast. But I, I believe there's something on my heart here that uh, is uh, placed there by the Lord that can change uh, our life. It's certainly something that God has given me right now uh, in how to pray for uh, results and how to pray the way God wants us to pray uh, when we're asking for miraculous things. And uh, so our reference is in Ezekiel 37. And uh, I just want to read and, and comment as I go. The Lord took hold of me as I was carried away by the Spirit of the Lord to a, a valley filled with bones. He led me all around the bones that covered the valley floor. and They were scattered everywhere across the ground and were completely dried out. Then he asked me, Son of man, can these bones become living people again? You see, that was a picture of, a, uh, of an impossible situation. Naturally speaking, there was absolutely no hope. Those bones were bleached, they were scattered, they'd been dead a long time. There was no way that they were going to have any possibility of coming uh, to life again. And he says, uh, you know, so Ezekiel was, was kind of smart. He said, oh, sovereign Lord, I replied, you know the answer to that. That's a good answer because it doesn't commit him to anything that he couldn't, uh, he couldn't uh, support. But then he said to me, and I'm reading on in this verse 4, Speak a prophetic message to these bones and say, Dry bones, listen to the word of the Lord. So what is the prophetic message? It, it's, it's the promises of God that are contained in the Bible. It's, it's the promise that we, we know and the Holy Spirit reminds us uh, of the place that it is. And in context and in its original uh, meaning we uh, correctly interpret it and then we apply it to the situation that we're at and it, that's the prophetic message it's the promise of God it's it's, it's the sure word of prophecy and he says it this way in, in verse 5 this is what the sovereign Lord says look I'm going to put breath into you and make you live again I will put flesh and muscles on you and cover you with skin I will put breath into you and you will come to life then you will know that I am the Lord. So I spoke this message just as he told me. <coughs> and suddenly I spoke, and there was a rattling sound all across the valley. The bones of each body came together and attached themselves as complete skeletons. And then I, as I watched it happen, muscles and flesh formed over the bones. Then skin formed to cover their bodies. So there was a, a, a complete body, but it still had no breath in them. So it, it, it's apparently not enough to know the promises of God in your heart. It's not just an academic knowledge of the Word of God, but when you begin to speak them and declare them into the open air, there's something that dynamic uh, that happens in a spiritual sense. There's something about speaking out loud. There's power of life and death in the tongue. And I, I believe that he, he applies it to this particular situation. When there's a promise of God and it activates the promise, when you begin to speak it out, when you put it into the atmosphere, it changes the atmosphere. And I'm, I'm just thinking here too, sometimes we don't want to speak out the promise of God because we can't see how it could possibly happen. We, we, we're trying to figure out how how the end result could be the the the, uh, the miracle that we're really seeking or the change of, of whatever it is. It could be a, an impossible situation like a bad diagnosis from the doctor where, uh, you know, it, it's, it's very possible that you're, you're very sick and sometimes it's a terminal thing and you, can, you can't figure out how in the natural you could possibly ever get well or could receive the healing that you need. Maybe you're paralyzed tonight. Maybe you have some uh, wasting disease and there's no cure and and you're saying why I can't pray the prayer that says by your wounds we are healed because I know it's impossible for that to happen in my life and I, and I want to tell you that in the natural it may not be able to happen but we serve a God of the supernatural 
And when you begin to speak by faith into the impossible situation, it's not our problem. It becomes God's responsibility to perform the miracle. And so we, we, we get stuck sometimes in trying to figure out how we can all put it together and it could happen. Maybe it's a job that you need. Maybe it's a financial problem that you have. And maybe it's a relationship issue. And Lord, I, you know, wants to, to help you, but you have to understand what your role is and what my role is and, and, and what the role of, of God's, uh, you know, providence is. And so we can't limit ourselves to what we can understand. We have to take the step from the natural to the supernatural, and that is speaking. Like when he spoke to the dry bones, there was, I mean, think about it. Uh, they weren't even together. There was no ears to hear. There was no nervous system to relay the, uh, you know, the, the nervous system, uh, the, the, the transmission from the ear to the brain. There was no brain to process it. I mean, it was just impossible. But he said, speak and prophesy to that which cannot in the natural hear you, but in the supernatural, everything is possible. And so we're, we're, we're in a place where we have to move out by faith and begin to speak by faith what we can't understand. Speak by faith what only God could provide. And that activates something supernatural. And so I, I just, you know, and then he said to me in verse 9, we'll finish it up. Speak a prophetic message to the winds. Son of man, speak prophetic message and say, this is what the sovereign Lord says, come. O breath from the four winds and breathe into these bodies so that they may live again. So I spoke the message as he commanded me and breath came into their bodies and they all came to life and stood up to their feet of vast army. I mean, there were steps. He prophesied and, and something and, and they came together. Then he pro and, 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 and it formed with flesh and bone and so on and so forth. And then he prophesied again and life came in to that which had previously only been structure. And so we need life to come. We need the full miracle. We need, we need everything to fall into the place. You see, the Holy Spirit is symbolized by the breath in this vision. We need more than just structure. We need the life that only the Holy Spirit can bring. And so I want to pray in just a minute for the impossible. And I, and I want your faith to begin to to, uh, to to arise and don't let me just pray for you. Begin to to declare over your lips. Open your mouth and begin to say, uh, you know, the the miracle. I declare that by your wounds I am healed. I declare that you are not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. If you've got a family member that is far from God and and they're hard and you can't understand how they could ever possibly come, those are the kinds of promises that you need to begin to pray. My God shall supply all of your of my needs according to his riches and glory. Lord, I've got a lot of things in my life that are, are, are not where they should be and not where I envisioned them to be by now. And in Matthew 36, Matthew 6, 33, it says, you know, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things. And there's an old list that it, the, uh, the author of Matthew, Matthew goes down about what we need for financial uh, things and what are we going to eat, where are we going to live, what are we going to wear, all those things, the material things. And he says, if you put me first and you seek me first, then I'm going to supply all of those needs. I will supply all of your needs according to my riches and glory. There's all kinds of promises. But whatever you need, Jesus is here and he's only a prayer away. Let me pray for you before we sign off. Lord, I ask, and I don't know who I'm speaking about or to, but there's somebody that just really needs their faith to have a kickstart and a jumpstart tonight, to believe for the miracle that they need. And so, Father, I pray that you would put the right words in their mind, the, 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 the spiritual promise that applies to their situation. And Father, I pray that out of their mouth would become words of faith that would activate your promise and would activate the miraculous. I pray this in Jesus' name for your glory and your glory alone. Amen. Amen. Uh, again, I, my name is, if I didn't introduce myself at the beginning, my name is Lane Olson. I'm one of the, uh, the pastors at New Song Community Church. You can find out more about the church 
and how you can respond uh, to, to God's uh, word here in your life by going to our website uh, at newsonglincoln.com and just follow the prompts. There's ways to contact. If God has spoken to your heart tonight, uh, I, I want you to go there and, and tell me something about what God has done in your life. And we want to be a prayer partner and stand with you for your miracle. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Have a great, great night. Amen.